Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today, December the 26th, 2020. And we're going to give you all a price prediction on Lee Auto. This is going to be our first price prediction for Lee Auto. It's one of the contenders with Tesla and uh, Xpeng. This Lee Audio is trying to go into the same space on EV vehicles. So we felt like we wanted to come in and do a prediction as to whether or not this market is going to continue to go higher or lower in price. So before I get started into that, if this is your first time watching our video, you guys appreciate it. Hit the like button, share the video, and also hit that bell notification. We want to make sure that you are notified of whenever we upload our content to this particular platform. We don't want you to miss out. You need to get in position right before the trap takes the value of Lee Auto where it needs to be. Now the trap is the one who controls the market. Plain and simple, he directs the ebbs and flow of price. He's in control. So you need to follow what he does. Everyone else is looking at fundamental analysis, the earnings per share, using technical indicators, Fibonacci retracements, EMAs, stochastics, MACDs, all of that is pointless and useless. I'm here to tell you that. The market is supposed to be read easily. It's not supposed to be difficult, easy to understand. That's why we're here to show you precisely that. So make sure before you go, share the video, like, and subscribe. So now let's get started real quick in Lee Auto. Like I told you, this is our first prediction that we are going to place out into the market for this particular stock. So the question for you is, is Lee Auto stock a buy? <laughs> And it's not. We're telling you right now that Lee Auto is not a buy right now. So anyone else that is out in this particular space telling you that Lee Auto is a buy, you might need to check their resources. And we're going to show you why Lee Auto is not a buy at this particular time. Because the first thing you can see on our price chart is this. This is the trend that Lee Auto currently is in. Okay, so uh, we're in the uptrend, right? The market in Lee Auto is starting out in a very fresh uptrend, no doubts about it. But what trend is the market in over the last couple of daily price bars? That's the question. So when you look at Lee Auto on a different time frame, I'm going to show you on this three day time frame. Look at the market. Are we seeing any strength into this particular stock right now? That is the question. Are we? Do you see any strength in this market for the auto? I don't. You may have. You might see strength on this particular price chart for the auto on a three day time frame. So let's take another look. Five days. Do you see strength here? I still don't see no strength here on the five day time frame, neither for Lee Auto. That's why we're telling you that this particular market in Lee Auto is not a buy. We still have lower prices to go through in this market in Lee Auto. Now, you might don't want to hear that, but we're here to give you all the news unbiasedly. The market has to go higher. It has to go lower as well. So you need to take that into consideration. The market doesn't care about your feelings nor emotions. Neither do we. We're here to simply to tell you our expectations as to what the market is anticipated to do. And for Lee Auto, it is anticipated to continue to go lower. So. Weekly time frame. You don't see any strength here, neither. So the only thing that we need to address on this particular video is OK. The market is still anticipated to go lower. How low can it go? Well, you can see right here around $28. Could be one area of support that the trap will come in and support the market in Lee Auto. And then the next area is going to be around 25. Okay, so you can see right here, I'll say like 2650. Okay. So we are currently seeing the market in Lee Auto trading from the overall trend. Let's see. 
right now is about 15% away from actually seeing this market in Lee Auto hitting this overall trend of going higher in price. This is the pristine area right here that anyone will want to come in and purchase this particular stock. And we're 15, almost 16% away from that line. So we can still see this market in Lee Auto drop 15, 16%, and it will still be in a uptrend. Just remember that. So we're going to continue to play the weakness into the market in Lee Auto. We're not seeing any strength based off what the trap has already laid out for us. Okay. So let's do this real quick. So we're going to play the weakness into the market in Lee Auto and 26.50 which is about 9.5% away from the where the market closed on the last trading day but we would definitely TP around $28 as well okay so our initial TP area will be around $28 which will still be pretty good I mean it's a four and a quarter percent market movement from where we are at right now for profitability four and a half percent pretty good but we're going to extend it down towards 26.50. All right. Now, restriction is going to be right there around $33. Okay. So let's bring this up closer. And that's it. We have an idea as to what the trap is anticipated to do. We are getting in position on our forecast. We're predicting him to continue to lower the value of Lee Auto. What are you seeing? You might see something totally different. But based off the price chart that we've looked at from the three day, the five day and the weekly time frame, we're not seeing any strength at all on those particular price time frames. We're not. So you have to be a realist and expect that the market in Lee Auto was still anticipated to go lower in price. We've identified $28 as our initial area TP, but we can also see the trap continue to lower the value of Lee Auto back down to $26.50 as well. So we have two areas of expectation of where we're expecting the trap to go. What are you seeing? Give us your ideas as to what you expect the market to do over the next seven days. What will price be for Lee Auto? Give us your thoughts and your opinion as to where the market is headed. Where would you TP at? Where would you take the bag from the trap? What price would you take the profit at? And let us know. Make sure you maintain a profitability. Go and trade different.